What's up, party animals? My name is Kezzy, and I just picked up the fattest piece of kit. I got the MPX-8. Now, while it looks cheap and dated, uh, it is, but it's perfect. So I've been looking at the MPC Live 2 for quite some time now, and I really, really want one because it's a completely standalone MPC. So you get the MPC pads, but also the MPC workflow. So you can do all kinds of beat making, all kinds of production, and I just, mm, I want it so bad. But I already have a few things. I have the tracker, I have my uh, phone, I have lots of things that are already portable, laptop even, but I want the MPC Live. However, I, with the MPX-8, it is basically an MPC minus the sampling or any other features. It literally plays samples, but it plays any sample, which is the big, mmm, tasty part that I got right there, is that I can go onto the computer or really anything that can sample, sample some music, and then chop it up save it as different samples, and load it up on this, which is just, oh, it's so amazing, because it's also portable. So it's not battery powered on its own, which, I mean, that's awesome, because that means I don't have a battery to replace in the future. It's USB powered. So I could plug this into, like, one of those little portable power banks, plug it in, plug in some headphones, and start jamming. The thing's amazing. It's insanely simple, has basically no features, so it's insanely easy to learn, too. So let's dive in. So right now, I've got a sample that I chopped up from Splice. It's a few chord progressions, um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll let you listen to what the pads are. So I have drums on the right hand, and then melody on the left, so... And then I can do... And the best part about this is that it's got a few different effects. Um, so you can change the volume, so if like you sampled something a little too loud, you can adjust this from 0 to 10. And then you can also, what is that, 6? And then you can also tune them. So I have these tuned down 4, which you can go plus 4 and minus 4. So if I tune this to 0, it actually sounds... But I, it just sounded so much better when it was slower. And then like the kick... Can be tuned all the way up. And it'll just play it slower. So it's like, a, it's actual slow down. It doesn't just pitch it. What's cool is that if you want, you can actually make it play loops. So you can have it be LP or loop, and then... Oh, that's the one shot. So you can do crazy stuff like that. Um, I might even get like a little uh, click track so I can practice playing with timekeeping. Um, it can load up all sorts of samples. Um, I just have a basic kit set up and then a few other things. But uh, as I do every time I get a new sampler is I take the one time I ever sampled vinyl and play that back. So. Ooh. 
So you can do so much with it. It's amazing for practicing finger drumming. I got it slightly used from a music store for 90 bucks, but normally it's 110. It is dirt cheap. This, which is this guy, which is uh, less features by itself. It's a nice drum pad, so it's good for the computer, but on its own, less features, can't play samples, literally requires an entire computer. 120 bucks. This guy, half the pads, but you can use it anywhere you are. 110. It's beautiful. And there's MIDI in and out, so you can control it with hardware, or you can use it to control hardware. Um, it has actual, like, core outputs on the side here. Um, I don't have them hooked up because it's just kind of awkward to plug them in that way. But there's also a headphone out. So both the headphone and the main out can work together. That's what I was doing for my TikTok videos where I had, because I needed to be able to listen to it when the recorder was recording. So I just plugged in headphone, put it in my ear, plugged in the recorder. Perfect. It worked amazingly. So love this pad. Love it so much. Highly recommend. And since I now have a really cool portable groove box thing, you can expect more of that because I love finger drumming. It's so, it's so different because it's not just drumming, you know, you're playing, you can play so much with it. And so I really want to see how far I can push the MPX-8 because there's an approximate 30 seconds of audio you can have recorded onto it. And then, um, and then it gets overloaded. It doesn't have like a ton of RAM or memory or whatever. Um, the SD card, it does accept an SD card, which I think that can be like, I think they said 32 gigabytes, which going through 32 gigabytes with a little scroll wheel and no folders, probably not something you want to do. So good to pair with a computer just for like chopping up. Like the, the sample I just chopped up, the one that we played, uh, load it, but I don't want to. But the chord samples, I chopped that up in Audacity and just saved them as WAV files onto the thing. And they just worked right out of the box. A lot of people said they had problems trying to load the samples correctly. I had no problems. They work perfectly fine when using Audacity, a free piece of software. So sample chop in Audacity, throw it on the SD card, you've got yourself basically an MPC. It even does loops. So it's, mm, it's just it's really good at what it does. So I'm super happy, super stoked. Can't wait to show you what I can do with it and can't wait to do more with it in general. Um, but I guess that's kind of the whole video. I just wanted to say, got a new piece of kit. It's super awesome. Uh, more music in the future. I'm going to be doing a remix of a certain furry. So look out for that. I cannot wait to get started on more bigger projects. So thank you guys so much. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.